It's been a while since we've uh, given an update of the platform and wanted to give you guys a quick overview of all the functionality. A bunch of new features, a bunch of new ways to manipulate the UI, and uh, many of you have been asking questions of us and the team, and I felt it was worth spending some time walking through the platform to kind of uh, help address those questions for you guys that when we're not available to help you on support and everything. So uh, real quick, uh, this is the dashboard for those of you that uh, may have not used the platform yet. As you can see, um, I'm going to walk through the pretty much from top down and then go from there. Uh, the top of this section, we have all the different components. You can toggle these on and off. Uh, if the colors are illuminated, that means they're enabled. If they are grayed out, that means they're disabled. Uh, you can do that throughout the whole platform. And then over here, you'll, you, for those of you that are new, uh, this is new functionality. Those of you guys may not have even noticed it yet that are, have been using the platform. Uh, this is how you could actually drag, drag and drop the platform uh, components as you need. Uh, this is giving us a whole bunch of new capabilities moving forward, and um, it's the beginning of uh, great things to come. So when it's unlocked, you can actually drag and drop these components. Uh, the top two are fixed, uh, but these other elements you could drag and manipulate as you wish. Um, you'll see these little grabber bars here, and from that you could actually drag and move these components around. Uh, so that's pretty cool. You could actually... Uh, if there's these little expansion arrows here in the corners, you could actually drag and resize them as needed. Uh, so, so that's cool functionality. If you ever get uh, lost and feel like your displays become a little bit of a mess or disorganized, just simply make sure it's unlocked and then click this button here and it'll reset it back to the default settings. Um, so that's that functionality uh, in a nutshell. Uh, up here is the, the additional settings, and we'll dive into that later, but just pay attention to this thing. It's called a hamburger menu, and you can um, access that whenever you wish. Uh, the entire platform's fully responsive and, and resizes uh, to your needs whenever you may uh, have that uh, mobile experience requirement or whatever. Um, moving down, these are the Momo meters. This is giving you pretty much what's called, you know, market breadth across Dow, NASDAQ, and SPY. It's giving you a three-minute uh, rolling view of market breadth, so new highs to new lows, and it's something that gives you a quicker uh, pulse of the market than maybe just looking at the indice percentages. Uh, below that, you have your watch list or, you know, favorites, uh, favorite quotes, we call them. Here you can, uh, as you see, it's pretty bloody today, but here you could... Uh, look at all your uh, quotes and get a quick view of everything for the day. You have a sort capability here. Uh, just real quick, it's in the upper left-hand corner. It's only available when it's expanded. And you can sort based off of alphanumeric or percent gain loss. And um, at any point, you can slide it this way, move it up or down, manipulate it. And with uh, the lock functionality, you could actually override that and drag and drop these to meet your needs if, if required. Um, so that's that. Uh, to add and remove a new quote, just hit this plus and you could type any symbol you wish. Let's say I think uh, F for Ford and you've added Ford. You could also use the slash command and that will quickly bring this up. You could use uh, comma separated if you want to add multiples. Uh, what else do we have here? Ah, to, to eliminate any of these that you're not a, no longer interested in, just simply click the star and that will remove that quote. So just think of it as favorite or unfavorite and that's all you got to do. Uh, new functionality is this price pin. Uh, this is a new capability which lets you pretty much track the progress of that uh, stock since you've added it. At any point you want to reset it, just simply click and it will reset to the current price and track your gains from that point forward. Moving on, uh, this is the stream, this new higher, higher highs, lower lows. Green is higher highs, red is lower lows. As you can tell, you can scroll at any point in time and uh, you can scroll throughout the platform. Some people have been asking, can I scroll or do I only see those elements? And that's, everything is infinitely scrollable. Uh, as required. Um, if you have an alternate stream set up, you'll see your alternate here. 
if you don't have it set up in settings, you will just see the main, mainstream, okay? Uh, that's something you guys have been asking about. And if there's expansion on some of these primary things, you'll be able to expand the windows as shown here. Uh, this is new functionality. This lets you decouple the main and alter alternate to let you see them simultaneously. So keep in mind that you won't have that if, if you don't have your alternate stream set up. Um, to, to reconnect them, just simply click here and it, it reconnects them. And then you just toggle them from this side perspective, okay? Um, alerts, news, let's dive into news a little bit. Anytime you click a symbol, it's going to bring up the latest news and from which you'll be able to see everything as quick as possible and to see if there's an actionable trade. You can scroll it through all your history here or just see all the news as needed. Again, uh, if, if you want to update that and perhaps resize, I'm going to maybe turn off uh, alerts here, create some room, and then maybe get, get a little bit more news here. I just want to see my favorites. I click on favorites and I'm only seeing news related to what's shown up here in my favorites page. Um, so that, that's pretty useful. Click on any of these items and you'll get a list of uh, the news, the headline topics uh, that gives, get, gives additional detail uh, to let you, let you get a feel for what's going on here. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Moving down, we'll go ahead and dive into Discovery real quick. Discovery has a lot of capabilities. I'm going to go ahead and expand that just to kind of provide a little bit more focus. Uh, pay attention here, guys, to this area. This is really lets you see uh, things specific to what you're really looking for. Here's all your favorites. You click favorites, it's enabled or disabled. Sometimes you'll type a, a symbol that's not in your favorites and you won't get a result, so make sure that's disabled. Uh, your default is, is pretty much everything enabled uh, with no filters, but uh, we've provided some uh, generic ones. Some of these are for our own test purposes, as you see here, but within there, you'll be able to add additional ones. So if you want to see something, for example, the latest price percent change of 3% or greater with maybe unusual volume of 50% uh, and... Uh, you, you could do that at any point in time, and then you're quickly getting a temporary uh, view of those. Then you could scale across the, the time frame that you want to compare it against. And this is really important. I get a lot of people are saying, wow, you can only, it's only a 15 minute update. That's 100% wrong. Uh, we update the discovery view and all the algorithm uh, calculations every minute. And if any point in time you're, you want it to get a faster refresh cycle, just simply click this and it will automatically pull and, and provide you with the latest updates available. Uh, as you just saw that refresh right there. It's pulling in a three meg file every minute and to do it more often isn't really practical for everyone's devices and for bandwidth. Uh, so that, keep that in mind. So when it says 15 minutes, what we're doing is actually every minute evaluating the criteria that you've set versus the prior 15 minute time frame. So within two minutes, if you see 3% change, you're gonna actually see that bubbled up. Uh, any of these here, you'll be able to uh, click and sort on, on any of the inf information, whether it's uh, ascending or descending. Uh, momentum's a great one to, get, to use. Um, just, just depends what you're looking for. Of important note, uh, the Momo Pro Plus has the money flow, squeeze, indicators, as well as trend. Momo Pro does not have these, uh, so, so keep that in mind. And additionally, squeeze actually has additional uh, parameters beyond just ascending and descending. It's actually got three different states. It's got pre, post, and now. And those all equate to the different phases within the squeeze uh, pattern <coughs> and we're highlighting those. So at right now we're showing these are in, in the now status that let you track those. Uh, the criteria is, you know, for squeeze probably should be in somewhere like in more of a four hour daily type view and, and you could go from that. But uh, this is not necessarily to talk about the algorithms and, and how to place trades right now. It's more to address the functionality. So let's drill back and then you can see here it is set back into the actual uh, 
settings that we have in the layout that we've uh, predefined for you. Anything else we should cover here on this page? Oh yeah, one little thing, we've got a little hidden Easter egg. If, if you're ever so interested, you can mouse over the discovery icon and actually download a CSV of the current view that you have for offline processing for doing, uh, yes, saving that data for whatever you need. And then uh, last thing, going into settings here, settings has been relayed out. We've got tabs up here for all the different areas. Uh, don't really want to dive into these too much other than to show that here is that main and alternate set configurations that you could set for your, your primary and secondary streams. And you could have multiple filters, a filter on each side, or only show your higher, higher highs, lower lows on the alternate side and go from there. Uh, additionally, discovery, since we are talking layout, you can reorder uh, many of these items as you wished in, in, your, col in your column view so that they lay out and, and are present uh, based off your priority. Uh, disable them if you wish. You could kind of hide them and they, they will disappear and they will no longer be on your dashboard. See, their actions is no longer over here. Uh, what else can I show you guys? Um, stream, we've kind of covered that. If this isn't set, you, you won't have that, those options to decouple or uh, have an alternate stream on that primary page. And then on notifications, pay attention if you want to add voice. Be sure to select a, a sign, uh, a uh, channel here uh, to give the different voices. You could add multiples to have different voices for different uh, purposes. And uh, then pay attention here, you could add all your different types of alerts that you may need and want. Uh, paying particular attention to the conditionals, which heavily reuses the filter display on, on the discovery, but adds some additional criteria and capabilities that are relevant to creating conditional alerts. Uh, trying to think, I, I believe that's it guys. So hopefully that's a good up-to-date view of all the latest functionality and, and ways to manipulate and uh, position Momo to meet, best meet your needs. All right, till next time, hopefully that's useful. If not, you have any questions, please email us at hello at Have a great day, everyone. Bye.